and Billy Joe back again for another trucking vlog and we are in the stuff today. As you can see, it's a winter wonderland. Snow's coming down right now. Wiener wagon's in front of us. And we are almost to our uh, stop to pick up an empty trailer after home time here in uh, Lakewood, New York is where we're at. We dropped the trailer there before we took home time and bobtailed home. And now we're gonna go ahead and pick up, hopefully not the same empty, because it was an old three series. But we'll see when we get there. We're just a few minutes away. And yeah, check this out. <laughs> going to be uh, 0 0.3 miles on the right. Yeah. I just thought this is a road. I don't even think it's a road. Man, why is Warner going so slow without his hazard though? Okay, you're coming up on it. It's going to be the next right. Yeah. Yep. Where that's just coming up. Yep, just a little bit further. We just got through the grass right here. Okay, I'll send it. <laughs> we just slid down that thing. <laughs> this is the first snow that we've been in in the truck. We didn't have any the past month. Now we do. We are bobtail, by the way, like I said. No trailer. like that uh, video I did when I was in Minnesota. It was probably snowing this hard or a little bit harder. And everybody's like, yeah, it was just flurries, Dave. That wasn't nothing. I was like, nah, the GoPro don't show the flurries. Or it doesn't show the flakes, sorry. Yeah, it's coming down right now, guys. See if y'all can see. Yeah, it looks light on camera. It actually looks pretty good on this one. Better than GoPro. Yeah, right into this mess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go be storm chasers for the next month. Winter storm chasers? Yeah. Is that a thing? <laughs> I it guess it's... be, but that's my log every winter. <laughs> Looks like it's been snowing here like all morning. It does, doesn't all it? All these cars are covered. Yep. I'm not excited about this again. <laughs> I hated this last winter. <laughs> oh man. According to the Farmer's Almanac, it's gonna be a mild winter. Well, so you're in luck. Great. Sure looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is mild for New York. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> They tell you to pull up by the rail in here, guys, and there's signs where you can either call them or get on the CB and uh, check in with them. Your boy Dave got some new uh, insulated deer skin gloves at the old tractor supply. Ain't even dirtied up yet. They're about to get dirty though. Yep, Billy Joe got her some new ones too. Got to break them in today? Yep. That must be the Werner. That's gonna be got a copy. You don't want that ain't them leaving with empty trailer them. All the empties are over here, you said? Yeah. Nice. Ooh, we got a nice trailer coming out of home time, guys. We're actually going to Indianapolis. We still gotta go pick up the load though. I thought it was live. 
Do it. I was gonna get you sliding. <laughs> Woo! Ever tell you you look cute with uh, snow all over you? Yeah, it makes you sparkle. <laughs> all right, guys, so we just hooked up. We got everything good. Made sure the trailer was empty. Um, it is. So, luckily, we're going about 100 miles with this trailer, but then we're actually gonna be uh, dropping and hooking at the place that we're going. So, we won't have this 5 Series for too long, but maybe we'll get another 5 Series at the place that we're going to uh, drop and hook, which is a FedEx. So, who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. But yeah, about to get up out of here and uh, head on down the road in this beautiful weather here. All right, guys, we got our trailer, nice little five series, and hopefully we don't have any issues getting about 100 miles down the road, 84 miles actually, to get to this FedEx place. So we'll keep you all updated on the trip. All right, guys, so one thing we didn't realize until we got dispatched is that our dispatch is for 11 p.m. tonight. So we actually have to take a 10 this morning to be able to pick up this load at the FedEx that we're going. So, yeah, this video is probably going to have a little bit of day snow and a little bit of night snow. You excited, Billy Joe? Hopefully it's only day snow and then it stops. I hope so, too. We'll see. Keep you all updated. All right, guys, so it is now in the middle of the night, 10.40 p.m., and we are finally going to pick up this load, so we were forced to kind of take a 10 before we could pick this load up. That way we could drive it to Indianapolis, so, uh, yeah. Let's just say it's been a long night, but we are at Jim's Truck Stop in, uh, is this Cheek Tawaga? Sure is. Cheek to Wauga, New York. It's a little truck stop here in the Buffalo area. I actually did a video here a long time ago, if y'all remember, uh, in my Buffalo video. And I had to stop here and I ate and took a shower. And yeah, we're actually about to leave here. We are three miles away from where we're picking up at a FedEx for what says it's a drop and hook. And yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Jams. Classiest truck stop on the planet. Turn left onto Golden Avenue. So they got a little restaurant over there. It's actually open. Is it 24-7, Billy Joe? Yeah. Yeah, it's open in the middle of the night and everything. Full menu. It's pretty neat. And then of course a little uh service side with you know coffee and snacks and whatever else you want but there aren't too many like 24 seven diners out here, especially with COVID anymore. So it's nice when you come across one like that. We're almost there though, about to turn into here. The place is at an airport basically. There's the airport right over there where all those lights are. Buffalo Niagara Airport. Yeah, and we're about to take a right into a street that brings us to where we think the drop and hook location is. Let's see what the signs say here. Shipping and receiving. 269 shipping and receiving is what we need. Your destination is on the right. Yeah, there's bushes there. Cause it looks back there guys, there's a uh, trailer area. Billy Joe's about to take this right right here and go back to that trailer area. But it could be back there. That's it, right there. FedEx, it's gotta be it. Let's see, yeah, it says this way. Yep. 269. 
This is what we saw from the satellite, guys, is when we come up here and we take this ride, it brings us back to what appears to be the only trailer area in this spot. So we figured that was it. That was our best guess, judging by our uh, satellite reconnaissance. Yeah, trucking is so much detective work. It really is. You just gotta figure stuff out a lot of times. Hope you don't turn into somewhere that you have to back back out of. Yep. Of course, it always helps to look before you turn in there. Yes. Oh, oh there's Transport, Transport Americas America. too, so this has to be it. Hope to God it is a drop and hook though. Let's see, I don't see it shipping or Gotta be a little office or something over here. Southwest cargo? That looks dark. Yeah, all of these look dark. <laughs> I know. Maybe there's an office up here on the left. There oh there's a sign up there. On the left, there's like a little sign that has some words on it. Maybe that's the receiving office. Uh, that's all it says. There's a CFI right there. That might be what we're picking up. There's FedEx up on that building. I think I'm just gonna yeah. park here and walk over. Right we'll be right back. We're gonna go try to check in, figure out what we need to do. All right, guys. So it's one of those situations where there's a FedEx logo up there above a door, but there's nobody in there, and it just looks like one of those like package drop-off locations and whatnot. And there's nobody in any of these uh, offices or entryways here that can help you. See, that over there says Southwest, but the FedEx, there's nobody in there. So Billy Joe said she's gonna go back down there and try to knock on the door. And I said I would go check the trailer boxes to see if maybe they just decide to leave the paperwork in a box here for us. And this only CFI just has the registration. So there's no, no paperwork here. Oh, there's one more Transport America. Let me just check and make sure this don't have any paperwork going to Indianapolis. There ain't even no registration in that box. Anyways, guys, yeah. Hopefully Billy Joe had some luck getting somebody to talk to. Because we don't know what else to do. <laughs> like we literally just said when we pulled in here. Trucking is like a bunch of detective work. It's literally what, here she comes. I wonder if she got something or somebody. Yeah? No. Oh, No people so that they have no idea what I'm supposed to do and everything else is closed around here. Well, what about CFI? There was no bills in the CFI thing. Uh. Alright guys, so one of the office workers said that it might be at another building, which is right up the way. We take a right here, we go to this other building, but it's only car parking spots around the building. When we researched this place, we saw that it was only car parking spots, so we said let's go to the place with the trailers first, which you know, there's a CFI here, there's Transport America. This is probably where we're supposed to be. All right, so we're gonna go see if we have any trailers down here to the right at this FedEx ship center. And yeah, if not, we're gonna have to call dispatch and be like, hey, we don't know what to do. <laughs> we need further instructions. Yes. We tried to figure out, we did our best. All these offices are closed. They're all closed, yeah. You know what's funny, Billy Joe? What? You just said trucking is a bunch of detective work. <laughs> That's what we're doing right now, guys. <sighs> Getting our cardio in. Yeah, we are. Detectives. Yep. Late night buffalo. Y'all wonder why Dave was losing a bunch of weight when I was solo trucking because of this. Walking with Dave and Billy Joe. <laughs> cold out here, man. It is cold. Why does that snow anymore? Yeah. It's too worse. Oh, they're now hiring everywhere in the world is hiring. Yes, they are. I don't see any trailers. No, it's a car. Yeah. Like I said, guys, the reason we didn't come here first was because all the way around the building on the satellite is just car parking spots. You see no trailers, no lines for semi-trailers or anything. So, that's why we didn't go here. This can't. There's no door. This can't be it. This there's no way. There is a door. Does that say security yeah, office? Notice. Oh, security notice. I need glasses. <laughs> Employee of the month parking is in front of this big old door. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. 
Authorized personnel only. Yeah, this is not us. I don't think any of this is us, honestly. What do we do? Do I just go home? Yeah, we just go ahead and go back home. <laughs> Call it a day. I guess we'll at least take a peek around back here. Because maybe there's some trailer spots back here. And there's a CFI chilling, nicely loaded, waiting for us. But I don't think that's the case. I'm just going to peek and then I think we just got to go back. <laughs> and... Alright, this is just all car parking, guys. Like I said, we researched this before we came. We looked. Oh, she's knocking. <laughs> I don't think it's over here. Yeah, there's nothing here, guys. Absolutely nothing here. Yeah, I don't think it's this building, dear. Pretty sure it's, uh... We knew that. We yeah, we, we knew that, but we're just trying everything now because we don't know what else to do. Now we gotta call dispatch and tell them that nobody's here to give us a trailer. Doesn't appear there's any loaded CFIs ready to go. And I don't know, we need the trailer number from dispatch. That'll help. Alright guys, well, back to step one. We'll uh, be back with you when we figure something out. Alright guys, so dispatch just got back to us when we asked, uh, you know, what we were supposed to do. And they said there should be a guard and people in shipping but there's absolutely no shipping office to walk into and no guard. And the people that Billy Joe knocked on the door and asked what we're supposed to do, they had no clue. So, yeah, we're gonna call a dispatch now and see what we're supposed to do. All right guys, so Billy Joe is about to actually go spin around to back into one of these spots to hang out. So what happened was we went over to uh, this door right over here which isn't even labeled as anything but we knocked on the door and a guy with a FedEx shirt came out and he's like can I help you and we were like yeah we're here to pick up a trailer nobody's in the FedEx office down there you know what do we do etc and he's like well they left at 11 our dispatch time was 11:40, and we were here like early like we probably got here like maybe I don't know right at 11 or something and I guess they had already left for the day so yeah we just messaged dispatch and said a guy told us that there's nobody here. They're not coming back until the morning. We don't have anywhere else to go or do, so we're gonna back into a spot here. And I guess wait until dispatch sends us another load or I don't know what's gonna happen, but <laughs> yeah. Luckily there is overnight parking here. It said on the load notes that there is overnight parking at this facility. So we're gonna stay here and chill and relax until we figure out what the hell else to do. All right guys, so we just knocked three more times because we sent a message dispatch stating hey nobody's here um, a guy answered a door up here and told us that you're in the right place but they're not here until tonight or they're not here until the morning sorry and we got a message back from dispatch because we parked and we were chilling and they said your load is not canceled they are looking for you please go check in and we're like well what do we do so we literally just went back and knocked on the door again we're walking around this whole freaking place knocking on doors. I mean, obviously it's FedEx. It's at the address that we got. We were picking up at FedEx, but there's absolutely nobody here. Like, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> we don't know what else to do. We've knocked on all this stuff 10 times. So anyways, guys, we're gonna go do a due diligence again and bang on doors at this FedEx. And I mean, that's the door the guy came to. And he don't know anything. He said, everybody on your left, there's nobody here that can help you. I don't know. The only possible thing I can think of is that we're not in the right place, but the dude told us we were in the right place. Or it was the same address. So, I don't know what the heck to do. So Billy Joe hopped back in the truck. I think she's gonna go talk to dispatch or something. I'm gonna go get, take another walk and see if I see anything else that we could be at. What a freaking start back from home time, man. This sucks. Because we started off at 7.30 this morning because, you know, you got to be on the board at 7.30 when you're coming back from home time, right? A.M. And ready for a load. So we were pre-planned on a load already to come here about uh, 30 minutes down the road from where our home time. Well, they sent us to a uh, pickup to get an empty trailer. And that's where you guys saw it was snowing and everything. 
So we grabbed the empty trailer and then we got caught in all that snow and all that crap. And it was, uh, you know, pretty stressful. We were kind of struggling to get up hills, spinning a little bit, everything else, you know, the normal truck and stuff. And then once we get that empty trailer, we realize we're dispatched for 11 p.m. tonight, 11.40 actually. And we had just started. It's like, what, 8.30 in the morning by the time we got our empty trailer. We're like, are you serious? <laughs> we can't pick this up to 11, we have to take a 10. So we tried to sleep. I slept more than Billy Joe did. She was struggling to, you know, try to sleep because we had just slept the night before. So then we got a freaking load for 7.30. So then we got in the truck for 7.30 and then we get a load that doesn't pick up until freaking 11. Like, God dang. So she's tired, I'm tired. And we get here to do the load and then this happens. And it's like nobody's freaking answering the doors. There's no shipping office, no freaking security guard. So it's just been a mess the first load after home time. You know, dispatch is acting like we're supposed to be here and they're looking, there's nobody there looking for us. <laughs> We've done everything, I've walked everywhere tried everything I don't know what else we're supposed to do so yeah it's a bit of an annoying one right after home time guys it really is so I'm gonna go back to the truck now I told Billy Joe to text me if she figured anything else out and I need to run back or something but she hadn't texted me so <sighs> that's trucking get used to it guys that's trucking all right, you know what? It's a really long shot, but you know this building Billy Joe and I just came to earlier. We walked down here and we checked the side and went around the back. I'm gonna take a long shot and walk down here and see if somehow on the other side of the building there's a CFI trailer or something sitting there. This is the only other place that I can think of, and it is a FedEx building, you know what I mean? So we're gonna see. I am kind of glad I documented all this, and then if anything happened, you know, a dispatch being like, you know, what were you doing? It's all on video. <laughs> uh, we went out of our way to try to make sure we were in the right place. I swear, if I round this corner up here and there's freaking CFI trailers and everything else, I'm gonna be like, God dang it. <laughs> Is there trailers over here? I don't see anything. Could this be it, guys? This is not the right address though. This is the wrong address. These are just little bitty trailers. There's no semi trailers over here. And this just goes back around, yeah. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing we can do, guys. Absolutely nothing. This is the only other building it could have been. There's obviously no semi trailers out here, which is what we noticed from the satellite. But at this point, you know, we're just grasping at straws, trying anything we can to see yeah, maybe an error in the address or whatever, but obviously there's no error. We're at the right place. There's just nobody there to help us. <laughs> and no loaded trailers. Oh, hell, guys. Well, there's a car parked right beside our truck. Yeah, and Billy Joe's talking to somebody. Okay. Hopefully, that's who we've needed to talk to the whole time. All right, guys, so come to find out, the building I just walked around, the whole building, is where we have to go. It's not even the street number <laughs> of this, of the, of where we're supposed to be. The guy came over, Billy Joe is uh, pulling out from the trailer right now. We have to take one of these roller trailers, right? Um, these have the big rollers inside. When they load them, it gets rolled all the way back to the back of the trailer, as you can see. So we gotta grab one of these Transport America roller trailers. I'll show you all what these look like. <clears throat> when we have to go over there to dock two back in and it's a live load. Cause we were told it was a drop and hook. So you see these big rollers right here? This is basically what they look like. And we have to have one of these trailers the guy said, so. Yeah. I mean, how are we supposed to know? 269 brings up this place. <laughs> and it has FedEx stuff everywhere. The ship center has no trailers or anything. Like, how are we supposed to know? We're not supposed to freaking just know. <sighs> it's ridiculous. So, anyways, Billy Joe's about to back into this one here. We're gonna connect it, and then we're gonna run over there back into dock two and get loaded, finally. All right, guys, that is dock two right there. That's where we have to go.
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Pull way up here and then guide it back. Yeah. guys so yeah she just got to pull up a little more to the right to get that trailer pointed over there and she should be good to kind of guide it straight back in there we're gonna watch her we're gonna watch her blind side make sure she's okay and she doesn't have any issues with the pole here which she should be fine she should be able to see everything and kind of guide it easily back into there <laughs> probably gonna get out and look here and see what she's looking at making sure she has nothing on that side that she can't see now she can see out that mirror here I'm trying to help direct her now she could probably go ahead and jack it to get it to start turning in yep that's what she's doing right now she knows she's clear because she can see Probably gonna get out and look here. You gotta pull up, babe. You gotta pull up, babe. You gotta pull up. Pull up, you're going too far that way. Go. There we go. Now she's gonna get under it. Now she's looking good. You gotta get it right in between those poles. So what she's doing, she's trying to get it right in between both of those yellow poles to get the trailer right into there. So I think she's got it now, probably perfectly in there. He's directing her back there. He's letting her know she's good. There she is, she got it. All right guys, so now that we finally got in here, all the problems that y'all saw, because this place is 299 Cayuga Road. Put a screenshot up on here right now. That was the issue, is we had 269 from dispatch and it was 299. So how are we to know? It was also listed as a drop and hook. There's no trailers over here. Y'all saw me walk around this whole building on video. And we knocked on the doors. We knocked nobody answered. Nobody answered. We knocked on the doors. You were in the truck, babe, but they watched me walk around this whole building like there's no trailers, so this can't be it. There's no drop and hook. The address is different, like, you know, how do we know? Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. A uh, bunch of nonsense, but uh, yeah, hopefully the next load goes better. As always, there's a link down in the description if y'all would like to join CFI. Come get your career started. Check that out. Also, a link in the comments and on screen here. Until next time, appreciate y'all watching. Peace. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown.